Good afternoon, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. We begin with that story you'll only see on two, a missing semi with very expensive plane parts inside. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemignot is live at O'Hare Airport where she's been digging into what happened to the truck and its driver, Suzanne. Rob, Erica, sources say that police have been looking for the driver of that truck because they want to question him. This is a surveillance image of the truck that was reported missing by PFH Air LLC. The Lake in the Hills company hauls general freight and does interstate transportation. The truck was taken from a secure area at O'Hare Airport on the 10,000 block of West O'Hare on September 17th. It was last spotted here near Washington and Kilbourne on the west side. Sources say the truck trailer was carrying aircraft parts, among them a jet turbine valued at a million dollars. Is there a market for parts like this? This is a big market and global aviation is huge. Parts move around the world. Uh, you have uh, developing countries where there's big demand for parts for repair. No doubt some of these parts could be traced. They may not be uh, sellable but there's certain things that could command big bucks. Joe Sweeterman is a transportation expert and professor at DePaul University. To have the truck leave the scene uh, without trace, so to speak, you know, with parts that may be worth hundred millions of dollars in that truck really is a remarkable, disturbing story on, on what can happen if we have uh, a not proper security of who's, who's operating the trucks. Now, while an executive with the trucking company says the cargo, the truck and the driver have been found, police sources are saying tonight that there is no indication in any reporting that they have that that has happened yet. We're live at O'Hare Airport. Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. Erica. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.